speaking of horses, right behind me, the main arena, which is the New Holland Coliseum at the Farm Show Complex in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We're here for the 75th anniversary of the Pennsylvania National Horse Show. I'm going to show you some highlights. Let's go learn about the Pennsylvania National Horse Show. Well, here we are back in the warm-up or makeup arena. People are getting ready, getting warmed up, and they're calling out their numbers as they're ready to go into their classes. It's a 10-day run here at the Pennsylvania National Horse Show. And these are jumpers in the amateur owner hunter, 18 to 35 years old, competing here at the Pennsylvania National Horseshoe. Hey, it's Wayne Williams speaking of horses again. We are right here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania National Show and 75th anniversary. Right now my guest is Emily Randolph. Now Emily, you're in charge of PR for the entire event. And uh, what a what a bit. You've got a lot of you got a lot of effort put into this thing. Our team worked really hard this year. Yeah, we've made some big changes this year and really grown the horse show even further this year. Now it runs fourteen days, thirteen days? Ten days. Ten, Ten days. days this year. Ten days. And uh, you draw from what? In the how many states? Twenty five or so? I think my last count was between twenty five and thirty different states represented here. And you have some uh, different countries represented? Yeah, several different countries. One of the things looking through the program too that uh, we are going to do some some uh, highlights of you have some therapeutic riding awards which will be Friday. Friday, probably. yeah. So we will have another report with some of that in there. We're also going to have uh, coverage of the finals on Saturday evening, which will be nice. Now tell us a little bit about the gentleman that that plays the horn that calls the classes. Yeah, so that's our ringmaster, um, and they that's a big part of the history here. Um, 75 years, it's traditional to have that at the start of the classes. Um, somebody that ushers in the big classes. Yeah, that's a, that's a neat part, and he's all outfitted almost as if he were going to do call to the post, but he's outfitted. It's all a part of the uh, prestige. Yeah, kind of the ceremony of it all. The ceremony of the event, because those are the little things that, have, that become tradition and set it apart from other events. Exactly. 75 years of this now. How did this start? Can you give me a little history? Oh man, so it actually started as just a one day horse show um, 75 years ago here in the same venue and grew from there to two days. We had all different breeds as it continued to grow. There was different quarter horses, draft horses, more of the western horses. Um, it just kept expanding and expanding to where we are today and now it's one of the most prestigious hunter jumper horse shows in the country. Yeah. So, yeah, what's offered here has changed a lot over the years and it's grown and it's where it is today. And what weather we have today. Oh, it's beautiful. For so fall, I'm used to cold. Yeah, this is gorgeous, <laughs> sunny. You know, I have, to, I have to mention this on a note. I was looking through the program and I just realized that Harry Delisle had passed away. Yeah. And I did an interview a few years ago in Richmond, Virginia with Harry. He was still doing clinics like seven or eight years wow. ago. And, uh, you know, and his $80 champion and came over here, you know, to escape Nazi Germany, basically, in World War II. And, uh, what a program. Oh, that's what a nice man. Oh. I did this interview with Harry, and he was just a wonderful man. And when we got to his coming over here from Germany, I said something about Hitler, and he says, you do not say that to I will not speak. That was, man, he was adamant on that. What a great horseman, great story that the book, The Eighty Dollar Champion. Yeah, and I, I saw that in there and I thought, oh man, yeah. I did not realize that he had passed, although he had to be probably 90 something. Yeah, he's still up there. Yeah, we lost a lot of great horsemen this year. Yeah, but yeah. this event is fantastic and we're going to pass it on to future generations as well. Yes, that's our plan, yeah. So. And you've got, uh, I'm sure all the plans are starting to form for next year. 
Yeah, so um, I mentioned we made some big changes this year, and part of that was looking sure we've had these awesome 75 years. How do we make sure we have a bright future ahead for the next 75 years? So they introduced a second ring to allow more exhibitors to come and to keep yeah building and growing for the future. Um, so yeah, we're already taking notes on what's working well this year and preparing for next year. Well, hats off to you guys because you've done a fantastic job. Well, thank you. We appreciate you being here. Well, I, I love being here. I have not been to this show before and uh, I'm impressed I'm very impressed this is nice so That's Emily great. thank you thank you so much Wayne like I said right. I appreciate it Wayne Williams speaking of horses we're at the Pennsylvania National Horse Show we've got more reports coming stay tuned it's early in the morning outside the farm show complex here in Harrisburg the lunging is going on in the outdoor arena, and in just a little bit, we're going to move into where we tack up, and we go to the schooling arena. Everybody getting ready for the uh, day's activities, and some big classes to be held here on this next to the last day of the Pennsylvania National Horse Show. It is the 75th anniversary. We're going to go schooling, then we're going to go to work a big flag. This is the $10,000 Harrisburg Children's Hunter Finals coming to you from the 75th anniversary Pennsylvania National Horse Show, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, held at the Farm Show Complex. Let's watch. This is all tests. Samantha Carp is riding. And our world champion for the $10,000 Harrisburg Children's Hunter Finals 
is Maya Groat on Undaunted from Indianapolis, Indiana. Glenn Williams speaking of horses right behind me. Pennsylvania National Horse Show, 75th anniversary. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more on Speaking of Horses. Speaking of Horses, we are here again. Pennsylvania National Horse Show, 75th anniversary of this show. But we're going to talk about a special feature during the show. My guest is Rebecca Kinsley, Secretary and uh, Foundation Grants Coordinator. But part of what you do is you work with the uh, group of therapeutic riders who are here and who compete. And as soon as you watch this interview, I'm going to show you a little bit about the uh, therapeutic riders competing, and then the horse of the year is going to be presented as well. So you'll see all of that coming up in a moment. But Rebecca, tell us a little bit about this therapeutic riding program and how it uh, how it got started with the Pennsylvania National Show and, and how it's progressed to this point. Right. Um, well, how it got started was I used to help uh, run a pro uh, charity benefit show for my children's school and I was contacted one year to do a therapeutic riding class and um, I thought, well, that's awesome. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna do that. And um, you know, it happened a couple of years, and my children's school no longer does the horse show. And I thought, well, gosh, you know, what a great place to have these riders come, showcase their talents, and um, just be recognized for the hard work they do, and the amazing animals, the amazing programs they're part of. So um, we invited them to come, and uh, we did our first championship. This is our fifth year. And um, you know it's been it's been awesome to watch. Um, the smiles on the kids' faces are amazing, uh, and just you know the joy that they bring. It's it's really neat to watch everybody at the horse show kind of take a minute and sit back and watch and really, you know, um, just watch and be thankful. <laughs> you know, there's an interesting thought to that because I uh, I worked with a group and southern Wisconsin called Smiles, okay. and it's a therapeutic riding program. Right, great name. And uh, <laughs> you know, special methods in learning equine skills, that's what it stands for. Wow. Okay. Anyway, the, one of the shows I was doing for them, they had a class in a, in a regular open show, but the class was for therapeutic riders. And I said something about riders with handicaps. Right. After the show, one of the mothers came up and said, would you please not say handicap? And I said, yeah, I said, I will. I just, it just kind of came out. Right, right. She says, well, they don't know they're handicapped. Right. They have some disabilities, but they're out there competing and they don't necessarily know they're handicapped. Right. And when they're with the horse, they're not yeah. nearly as handicapped right. as when they're without the horse. Right, yes, that, I mean, if you can, you know, give someone that opportunity, that's just awesome. I mean, you know, I think, Horses are amazing. I mean, I ride horses. I've been lucky enough to ride them since I was a teenager. And, you know, they do amazing things for everyone. And um, it's just awesome to watch the kids and the connection they have with those horses. Because it's very true. When they're on that horse, they're not handicapped. They feel like they can do anything. And um, what better feeling is there for kids, you know? I, I think that's awesome. It, it, it's amazing. And I'm so glad that uh, a lot of the horse shows, including this one, Pennsylvania National Show, are now incorporating some of these classes for the challenged riders, whether it's physically or mentally, right. whatever, that they're putting these classes out there. And, you know, the horse does so much for people. Right. A lot more than we'll ever, ever really understand. Yes. And that's a great way to show what the horse can do besides just carry you. In many of these kids' cases, it's the first part of therapy they've ever had that literally can love them back. Right, yeah, that's that's a good point, yeah. And you know, that love is shown in just so many ways, you know, um, you know, being around the horses, just, I mean, I've gotten to know a lot of therapeutic programs and you know, some of them do even unmounted programs where the people just, you know, the horse identifies with what the rider or the person on the ground is experiencing and they can, you know, help them through that. And, um, you know, it's just a, a neat opportunity to have, yes. Oh, it really is. Now, we are very thankful to you to come by and talk to us, sure. Rebecca Kinsley. 
your secretary, you're also a foundation grants coordinator. We really appreciate it. Now, we're going to take a moment here on speaking of horses. Then we're going to show you some of this uh, therapeutic riding class right. and the horse of the year. Rebecca, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Stay with us right here on Speaking of Horses. We at Speaking of Horses are very proud to have Total Equine Feeds as a sponsor for our many programs. We are really happy to have Dr. Harry Anderson and Total Equine Feeds involved with Speaking of Horses. They manufacture all type of feeds and nutritional products for all types of animals, horses, equine, cattle, birds, all types. Total Equine Feeds is a great supporter and longtime friend of Speaking of Horses. Thank you to Total Equine family and we only want the best for them. No standing water means clean, good tasting, algae free, mosquito free, and virus free water. No risk of electric shock, no risk of fire from faulty wiring. Cool water in the summer, warm water in the winter. Water delivered fresh from the water supply at 50 degrees year round. Drinking post water now these are the two entries in the walk class for the therapeutic riding program, the classes that are held and sponsored here by the Pennsylvania National Horse Show for the riders with physical and mental challenges. These are the entries coming in now in the walk trot class for the therapeutic riding program at the Penn National Show. All of these riders are riding with some assistance, fewer riding independent, with just a walker watching. These are the walk trot entrants in our therapeutic class. Speaking of horses, right behind me, the main arena, which is the New Holland Coliseum at the Farm Show Complex in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. 
We're here for the 75th anniversary of the Pennsylvania National Horse Show. I'm going to show you some highlights. Let's go learn about the Pennsylvania National Horse Show. Well, before we open the national finals here for the Pennsylvania National Horse Show, we had a couple of inductees into their Hall of Fame. John Grandreb the third longtime uh, trumpet player for the show, and uh, national champion and world champion BZ Madden, both were inducted to the PA National Horse Show Hall of Fame. Williams speaking of horses right behind me. Pennsylvania National Horse Show, 75th anniversary. Stay with us, we'll be right back with more on Speaking of Future. Well, you know, we start off the finals here with a look at our classic lead line finals. Pennsylvania National Horse Show is well known for the therapeutic or challenged rider classes. And also classic lead line, these young riders working uh, with leaders, helping them, came in a nice class, lead line riders, classic lead line, the future of our horse industry. And they're getting their chance right here at Pennsylvania National Horseshoe. And as we present awards, the judges have decided these lead light classes too tough. Strictly a tie. Well, and now we move to the finals of the evening. The Pennsylvania National Horse Show Grand Prix $100,000 price tag on this Grand Prix. And we move into competition right now. You know, there were 19 competitors competing. So we had 19 trips around the course. And then as we finished these trips, we wound up with four horses in a jump off. Keep watching, we're gonna show you highlights of all of them.
Well, here's our card, how they placed, and if you'll see the first four at the top are our jump-off horses. The course being reset, so it's uh, different for the jump-off. The jump-off is strictly time. Coming in here for her jump-off is Cassandra Kale. This is her attempt at her jump-off under the watch. Coming back in right here, right now, the winner of our Grand Prix, $100,000 Pennsylvania National Horseshoe Grand Prix is Cassandra Kale. That jump off was her winning jump off right here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Speaking of horses, hey, that's a look around. This report from the Pennsylvania National Horse Show. Yes, the 75th anniversary. Thanks for joining us here on Speaking of Horses.